Okay, what's going on, beer lovers? I'm Chris, I'm your friendly bartender, and we're back in the captain's quarters. What we are going to do today is do something a bit different. I'm not shooting on the uh, the hefty beast known as my Canon, you know, uh, whatever it is, anyway. I'm going to try and use my phone, so it may be a little bit different. Just more because the screen's a bit bigger, I can see what's going on a bit better because I'm old and um, yeah. So, beer reviews, right? So, today, as you can probably see by the title, this is totally going to be on Bud Light. It's not going to be on Budweiser, but it is what it is, isn't it? So, Budweiser, okay, so we all know Budweiser, and it's the only glass I've got. Don't ask where I got this from. Just, just ask. So, anyway, I did have some Nifnaf glasses here, some little diddly ones that came with it. Cause it was a, <coughs> um, yeah. World Cup edition pack. It's 20 quid. 20 quid. You can't argue, can you? 20 quid, two pound a pint. Can't complain about that, can you? So, anyway, right, so we've got Budweiser and Bud Light Glass. So, what we're going to do is we'll do a poll on the chat as per standard. Now, Budweiser, obviously, we know in the UK isn't one of the top selling beers. Um, it, you know, it's out there to compete with Letter Carlin, Foster's, you know, Grosch and Points. There is some a lot better beers out there. Um, but anyway, so on the perfect draft, um, it comes in at 5% ABV uh, for a 6.8 keg. Currently sat, I think it's at 20, uh, sorry, £32 a keg. Um, so again, if you buy it in your keg park, you'll get it cheaper. But you'll also, if you use your 15% code through the app, um, make sure you, if you've got a pro, like that, the bed magnet, you'll get the app. All through there, use the code uh, PD at 15. It's fifteen percent off. It'll save you some money because we all like saving money in the time that we're in. I mean, everything costs us a bomb, and you get an old for it. Anyway, <coughs> another video. So anyway, right. So what I'll do is we'll get this poured. We'll have a look how live it is. So I'm going to be using a Bud Light glass. It's the uh, etched glass in the bottom. Should stimulate some bubbles. Um, it's going to be a bit like Stella glasses. Um, should stimulate some bubbles, and it should. We will have a chat about the pint. So what I'll do is I'll get you around here, um, we'll uh, pour a swift one from the old magnet of the brick, well, the magnet's brother. Um, do you know what, I'm not even going to stop it, I'm just going to keep it rolling. So we'll bring you in, I think that should be sufficient. Can we see? Yeah, this might be good. There we go. So, we'll go for the pour. And we'll see. Oh, my hands are huge. <laughs> Flying. So anyway, we'll go for the paw. Can you hear the dog? He always does this now and again. So anyway, we'll go for the paw. Wait for it. Wait for it any second now. Pump's going to kick in. There she goes. I've actually tanned the keg. That's embarrassing. Doing a video and I've tanned the keg. Ah well. But anyway, so there she is. We haven't quite got a full pint out of her. Um because I've had it in for a while now. I've just been sat well it's not really the missus has been sampling it. Um so there she is, that's the bottom of the keg. Now I'd have expected a bit more, you see that? More bubbles, but that could be from the end of the keg to be fair. But it's a shame you see it's got half of this. Keg really light, isn't it? This is why I prefer the bait magnet. So anyway, so she is a light coloured beer. Again, we all know what Budweiser is like. Um, it's obviously going to be a bit uh, lighter. A bit lighter. Um, so for me, let's have a sniff. Hoppy. No, it's not even hoppy. It's a fresh lager. It's, it's a bit light. Corona smell to be honest with you. But anyway, let's have a let's have a sample. It could be because it's the end of the keg. Um, and I've run it down and I've been too lazy. I've got to come apologise, my friend's getting the roof done. And they just seem to be making noise all the time. But anyway, so Bud Light, Bud Light, Budweiser, um, 
clean, crisp paint. Um, do I think it's better at the pump? I should, when I do these, I need to get the bottle somewhere. But yeah, so clean, crisp paint. Very light. It's very light and airy, to be honest with you. Um, there's like a, there's no real like a little aftertaste with it, maybe. Um, but then that could be just my taste buds. Um, clean crisp, well, I got, again, it's a five percent, so it's a good sessionable beer. You know, you can have your friends around, you can probably suck this all afternoon. Um, this is what I like to do. Um, clean and crisp, tastes nice. Do I think it's a top 10 beer? Potentially, yeah. Especially at £2 a pint, you can't argue with that, can you? Two pounds, you know, when you get it on offer at 20 quid, can't argue. So yeah, that was a bit embarrassing, and it's a, a probably a bit of tin in review the fact that it was the end of the keg. But for me, it's a fresh lager, and very much a lager. There are better lagers on the perfect draft, um, and to be honest with you, it is a top ten beer, but it, it's a number ten. It is a number 10. There are a lot better lagers on the perfect draft, I feel. Um, I want to try that. I've got still got to try that Green Mountain yet. That's quite nice from what I've been told. Um, but I think there are better lagers out there than that. Um, big Beaver Town fan. Um, but again, I know they're more of an IPA type lager. But the uh, Bones lager, 4.4%, is a good lager. But we're not here to review that. So. It's all right. It's all right. It's not a ten. It's definitely not a ten out of ten. It's in the top ten because I think it's a nice drinkable lot beer. But I, I, for me, it's it's all right. It, it's not one of the best on the perfect draft. But you know there are better beers out there. Um, I think it's a six. If I had to rate, I'd give it a six. It's an all right beer. You know, it does the job. It's a sessionable drink, it sits at 5%. In the States, I think it's about 4.2, and in the bottles, I still think it's about 5%, but I'll, I will get one and we'll review the bottle versus the, the things, I'll get another keg. But yeah, it's an alright lager, um, and that is about it with it, really. Um, if you like this content, please don't forget to hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think of my reviews, what you think of the lagers, and if you would buy them and where they sit in your top 10, are they in your top 10 and they're not in your top 10, let me know what you think. Um, but anyway guys, it's been an absolute pleasure as always talking to you and um, listening to the shite I come out with. Um, always, always up for a giggle. But anyway guys, thanks for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to hit the comment, comment hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next one.